straight up and not allow people to keep you from what it is you should be trying to reach. And that's your name written in the book of life. That's what this is all about. No more or less eternal life to live forever and ever and ever. Where we're going to have rest. There'll be no more working hard. No more tears. No more criminals. We're not going to have to deal with nothing but watch everything come to us. Because we done worked hard, y'all. We worked hard. I don't know if y'all realize it. I feel, I feel it. Our ancestors worked for free. You know, only time we became lazy, they say once we stopped working for them for free. That's when they say we lazy, because we ain't working for them for free. <laughs> so all you that don't, you don't, you wanna, you don't wanna, let me read you, let me read you first. So you don't wanna fall into this. 1 Corinthians 3.23 And ye are Mashiachim So we belong to Christ Mosai gave us the Christ We married to Christ Mashiach So I say it's crisis Which is Mashiach Yom The Yom is the masculine plural of the Hebrew We are Mashiach Yom And Mashiach is the Mosai That's why we reach the Mosai to him Bahasham Mashiach Yahweh In the name of the anointed Savior It tells us the same thing in in uh, uh, Romans 14 and 8. But whether we live or live, we live unto Mashiach. I mean, whether we die, we die unto Mashiach, Yahweh Whether we live therefore or die, we are a Mashiach. Whether you live or die, you still gonna be a Mashiachim. Crisis, the anointed, the Messiahs. That's why it's very important, you know. So, for all you that don't wanna hear the word of the Most High, you wanna exalt somebody more so than, well, let me make sure that you see that before I, I uh, go here. So, we'll make sure that you know. There'll be no doubt in your mind and what the Spirit is bringing forth. Acts 5 and 30. The most high power of our fathers. Who is that? Acts 3.13. Most high power of our fathers. The power of Abraham and I of Isaac and of Jacob the power of our fathers that's who it is and that's his name forever the memorial to all generations the power of Abraham Isaac and Jacob and Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel that's who the most I say he's the power of forever and the memorial to all generations so now going back to Acts 5 and 30 the power of our fathers who is that? the power of Abraham Isaac and Jacob Raised up a Mashiach Yavashai, whom he slew and hanged on the tree. Him, a Mashiach Yavashai, have the Most High exalted. See? With his right hand. To be what? To be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. And forgiveness of sins. See? That's what the Most High has done. That's what Peter said. Now, Paul said this in Philippians, the second chapter. That's what Paul said. And verse 9, Philippians 2 and 9. Wherefore, the Most High also have highly exalted him, Hamashiach, Yahweh and given him, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, a name which is above every name. That at the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth 
and things under the earth. Things in heaven going to bow. Things in earth going to bow. Things under the earth going to bow down to a Mashiach Yehoshua. Bar Shabbat Mashiach Yehoshua. And that every tongue, every language in the world should confess that a Mashiach Yehoshua is power, the master to the glory of the Most High, the Father. So you don't want to go by this? Look, let me show you. What the Most High has done. This is what the Most High has done. John 5, 22. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, a Mashiach Yahweh honoreth not the Father, Yahweh, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which have sent him. See? This is real, y'all. This is what you got to look at. Period. This is what the Most High has done. Now, if you don't want to love him, you don't want to care about him, this is what he tells you. This is for all you out there. You don't want to, you want to exalt man over him? That's what it says. First Corinthians. And you need to hear this. As we fellowship together, all everyone that hear my voice, hear this. First Corinthians 16, 22. If any man love not a Mashiach, Yahweh shot. Let him be anathema maranatha. Let him be accursed. That's what the word says. This is what the most high has done, so you try and get around it. You keep on exalting man over Hamashiach. And the most high has highly exalted him, giving him a name above every name. That's why he said, if, you, if a man come in his own name, you'll hear him. Hmm. But you won't hear Hamashiach. You come in the volume of the book. Trying to wake up people before it's too late. Go to Leviticus 18. Got to come together. Leviticus 18. And to um, Matthew 23 and 8. Matthew 23 and 8. Check this out. But be not ye called rabbi. Don't you hear that today? For one is your master, even Mashiach, and all ye are brethren. So, he said, don't call yourself rabbi. For one is your master, even Mashiach, and ye and all of ye are brethren. He said, and call no man your father upon the earth. For one is your father which is in heaven. And they call the Pope Father. Think about this. He said, don't call nobody your father. But then they asked him how to pray in Matthew 6 and 9. Matthew 6 and 9.
And after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father. Now look. So are you talking to the Pope? Or are you talking to the Most High? Well, he called himself Father. When they call him Father, Mashiach of Shai words telling us how to reach the Most High. Abba Nawa, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. See? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. See? So, we praying to the Most High. I said, don't call nobody Father. Because he knew that they would come on the earth and call themselves rabbis and call themselves Father. That's why I look at him as he prayed. As he, let's see if he praying to the Pope. Or who he praying to somebody that's on this earth now. Go to uh, John 17, verse 1. Look, these words spake of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, are you talking to who? The Most High, or are you talking to the Pope? You call yourself Father? You see how twisted this is? He said, Father, talking to the Heavenly Father, the Most High. The hour has come, glorify thy Son, that thy Son may also glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, he just said he gave him rulership over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, and this is the life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast sent. It's only begotten Son. They know the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of Masiach, Yahweh Shai. I have glorified thee, where? On the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. This is what he's saying. Verse 5 is clear. And now, O oh Father, who's he talking to? The Pope? That calls himself Father? No. He's talking to the most high. So I say, call no man father on the earth. Just the most high. Who's he?